Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're filming for you a little grocery haul and also a pantry tour. So this is something that the ladies in our private Facebook group, a few of you had asked for. So we're filming that today. And also I thought we would mention before we get started that this is a bit of a midweek haul. So it's not a snapshot of everything that we buy. It's just sort of stocking up on some fresh items and also the pantry. So we'll show you how the pantry is set up as well. And obviously this is at my apartment. Um, we don't have to go there. <laughs> and Amy has a similar setup at home. Uh, but we're here and this is where we film, so. Also, if you want a better idea of what is included and not included in a paleo diet, we actually have a post up on our blog that is called, I think, What's In and Out on a Paleo Diet. We'll link it below. And that also comes with a full list of all the things that you can stock in your pantry and fridge. And if you want to see how those foods can kind of fit into your meals, we've also got a three day paleo meal plan on our blog as well. So I'll link that as well. And, and all those resources are free as well. Yeah. So just follow the links and you can download those and we'll get started. So the first place that we went to was a place called Source and they do really nice um, dry goods. So you don't have to waste plastic bags and things. Um, and they have a lot of really good organic and natural products. So I bought some grass-fed organic ghee. So I picked up for smoothies some raw cacao powder and some cacao nibs. These are really great if you like a little bit of crunch and chocolatey flavor in your smoothies. Uh, I also picked up some activated almonds just for snacking. Now you can obviously buy regular almonds and activate yourself. I often do that, but I went the cheap way today. <laughs> and I also picked up chia seeds, they're great for chia seed pudding and also for smoothies or baking. And some sunflower seeds and some pepitas for a little kind of snack mix that I leave in the cupboard. So from just our general uh, grocery store, so Woolworths um, to any Aussies, we just got some uh, fresh fruit. I normally don't have a lot of mangoes but it's come in season and they look so good. Uh, so we got mangoes, we've got some bananas, um, also some avocados. I always buy avocados, uh, especially now they're in season, so they're a bit cheaper. <laughs> and then um, for the pantry, uh, some onion and garlic, use that for everything. And then sweet potatoes, I'm stocking up on those for a couple of days. Uh, our favorite chocolate, <laughs> this is the stevia, uh, no sugar chocolate. And just some other things for the fridge. So I've got some coriander, obsessed with coriander. Um, probably talk broccoli. about recipes. <laughs> yeah. Um, just some broccoli heads, some salad mix, and I'll show you the almond milk that I like to buy. So this is an activated and organic almond milk, so it's easier to mm. digest. It does have a little bit of rice malt syrup, I believe, in there. Yeah, to sweeten it, I think this one has some organic brown rice syrup but the sugar content is still quite low and I kind of mix mm. this partly with water in my shakes. And for meat, I already had plenty of meat in the fridge and freezer, but I've got some of these cleavers, um, back to basics or paleo sausages. And then for a little salad that I want to make tomorrow, I've just got some organic chicken thighs. Okay, so here is my pantry, and I think this really goes to show that you can eat healthy and you can eat paleo with very little storage space, uh, particularly because the diet focuses on eating a lot of fresh foods. So I came away with using quite a small pantry. Mm. So if you panicked a little bit when you saw all the expensive nuts and seeds and things that we bought today, don't worry because they are to stock up each of these mason jars and different jars that I have. So I don't buy that many nuts on a regular basis. It's just a little bit of a stock up. But we'll move through the pantry from this side. So I've got um, some cans of wild cooked salmon and some tuna. We've also got some raw honey. Sometimes I use it to sweeten different recipes. Don't use it too often. Um, we've got chia seeds, as you saw. We've got behind there, I've got some almond meal for baking, which I use occasionally. 
I've also got our cacao nibs. I eat these almost every day in smoothies. And also the raw cacao powder. Lots of magnesium. Plenty of magnesium there. <laughs> um, right in in the back, we've got a little container of tapioca starch. Now, obviously, you know, tapioca is used in a lot of paleo uh, recipes, but if you look at that white powder, it is very processed. So I use this minimally for different recipes where I'm subbing out wheat flour or other things like that. Here I have different nuts and snacks. So we've got some roasted macadamias, also some uh, pepitas and the sunflowers that you saw. I've got um, almonds. I also have some <laughs> more almonds here. Um, I have here a little nut butter. I've also got peanut butter, that's not paleo. <laughs> And we've got stocked up almond milk. I've got chocolate, so you saw this brand uses stevia. We also eat sometimes the 90% dark chocolate. It does contain a little bit of sugar, but it's very, very low. So uh, this is a good quality chocolate that we also like. So this really, this whole area is more about smoothies, snacks, and a little bit of baking bits. So down the bottom, I've got some more of my cooking staples. So. We've got cooking oil, so some organic coconut oil and the ghee that we bought today. Uh, over here, if you're thinking I have a lot of drugs, <laughs> it's mostly um, enzymes and different things that I've been taking for gut healing uh, purposes. Um, I also have here my little garlic jar, keeps the garlic nice and fresh. And this bag, which is great. Is this gonna work? with uh, lots of onions and sweet potatoes um, kept in the cupboard. So I'll push them back in. Obviously another paleo staple is apple cider vinegar. We use this for bone broth and salad dressings. And also for dressing salads, we have uh, olive oil. And I also have a big thing of MCT oil in here. So as you would have seen some of our recipes, um, we use sardines. So I've got a little stack of wild caught sardines and more tins of salmon, which are really good for on the go or uh, for salads in particular. And some little cans of tuna, a little balsamic vinegar for salads. And that's mostly it. At the back, I've got a lot of backups. I've got my um, coconut cream for curries. We've got some mustards and other little spices but you do keep spices in a different yeah. area so yeah if you're wondering what we flavor things with <laughs> yeah. we have the little spice cabinet yeah i have here. spices elsewhere some of these need to be restocked as well <laughs> but um so that's a separate thing so those are our little pantry staples and i wanted to touch on before we go that if you're looking for some more tips on specifically around budget and how to stock your pantry and eat healthy or eat a paleo diet on a budget. We also made a separate video covering that uh, because we didn't really touch on that too much today. It was more of a restock and just how we organize the pantry. So we'll leave a link for that below. Uh, otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below as always. Uh, we try to respond as quickly as possible and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Today we're going to be talking about self-love and worthiness. So as women, I think often we can struggle with this idea of loving ourselves, you know, even if it's just like a few moments in our journey and that feeling of like not being good enough and not being uh, worth 